The Global Navigator Supervisor Dashboard is the key to the UCE Contact Center. Through this application, supervisors can monitor activity of calls and the performance of agents while using both real-time and historical data to increase productivity and customer satisfaction. When first opened, the viewing window provides a look at the splits and agents assigned to that supervisor's profile along with the current calls in queue. Splits represent the groups of agent specialists where transactions may be routed based upon the needs of the customer. Supervisor profiles are permissions-based and will show and allow only what they have access to. Let's look at what's included in the default view. The split summary window displays at the top and includes some basic information for each split, such as calls in queue, longest waiting call time, grade of service, and average speed of answer. With the appropriate permissions, supervisors may have the option to change the mode of their splits to a predefined location. This is great for accommodating departmental meetings, fire drills, etc. The window view information in the supervisor dashboard is dynamic and user controlled. You can modify the window information if you want something other than what you see in the default. Any changes you make are dynamic and occur immediately. Use the tree view to create more views. Once created, you can modify a view for the information you want to see. You can save it and designate the view as public if you want other supervisors to have access, or private if just for you. Clicking on a specific split, such as customer service, changes the information in lower views to only show agents assigned to that split. The agent status window displays detail for agents, such as their current status, how long they've been logged in, and how many calls they've taken. But there are quite a few fields you can choose to display if you want more information. There are almost 70 fields to choose from here. Another supervisor feature is the option to silent monitor an agent, like Brian. And if I think he's having a little trouble with the call, I can barge in to assist. The calls in queue window displays transactions waiting to be answered, including calls, callbacks, web chats, and emails. You can drag and drop calls from one split to another, or drag agents into splits that need assistance. Adding dashboards and gadgets displays data in gauges and graphs. Gauges are great for a quick look at grade of service percent and abandons percent. Graphs can be bar charts, line charts, and pie charts. Here we're showing both a bar chart and a pie chart. How many calls have been answered in each of the splits? Down below shows the average speed of answer and talk time for the same splits. This one is a summary of all call types. And finally, we have a line, pie, and bar charts for agents. Notice we have multiple dashboard windows, and we have a few dashboards here that have multiple gadgets. You can move gadgets within a dashboard and dashboards within a view. Let me show you a few more cool tools. Under the Tools tab, you'll find additional options like Configuration. This is where you can create new supervisor accounts and set alerts if allowed in your login profile. The Capacity Analysis tool is a great What If option, where you can select specific timeframes, like last week, select your split or splits, and get the performance level. Modifying the fields will let you know what the results will be should the conditions change. To help you manage the day-to-day -day business, Global Navigator includes three levels of alert options. Level 1 is visual only and changes the fields yellow when conditions are met. Level 2 is orange and may also be used to program messages like the ones you see at the bottom of my screen. Level 2 also allows you to send out emails notifying people there's an alert condition to pay attention to. And Level 3 visual is purple and may also pop up a virtual wallboard message. Virtual wallboards allow business managers and agents to view simplified real-time information about the contact center, such as total calls, average speed of answer, how many agents are in ready, work, or break mode, etc. When a Level 3 alert condition is invoked, the wallboard can display a different message than what's regularly programmed, such as, too many calls in queue, all hands on deck, etc., allowing supervisors and agents to react accordingly to the alert condition. Returning to the Supervisor Dashboard, 
Using the zoom feature, I can make the text in my views larger or smaller. I decrease the size if I want to see more information on my screen, and I would increase if I want to display any or all of the windows on a wall-mounted monitor for everyone to see. Historical reporting is critical in a contact center. This solution offers several options for reporting. There are predefined report templates, an open database with a custom report designer to make it easy to create your own reports, and access to the legacy report designer for existing customers. The report templates are categorized into groups such as splits, agents, trunks, pilots, etc. If I look under splits, one of the most commonly run reports is the call activity detail. This makes it easy to see key statistics such as longest waiting call, grade of service, or number and percentage of abandons for the time period I chose, as well as much more. Another popular report is the Multimedia Contact Summary, which displays a line item summary for each activity. The output of this report can be sorted by various categories such as splits, agents, pilots, caller ID, etc. It's a great summary that shows the date and time the activity occurred, what type of activity it was, which agent was engaged, and the wait time, ring time, talk time, and hold time for each activity. Abandons will also display on this report. The custom report designer gives you access to all the data in the system with an easy way to pick and choose the exact information you want to see in the order that works best for what you require. To summarize, the Global Navigator Supervisor Dashboard is an easy-to-use client-server application with open access to the data, which is permissions-based, allowing each supervisor only the access required to manage their contact center. Need more information? Have a question? Or would you like a full, in-depth demonstration? Contact your NEC account representative or send us an email at necfocus at necam.com.